Hello friends, welcome to the Fundamental Pharmacy. Today we are going to discuss about the tablet excipients, various type of tablet excipients used in tablet manufacturing. So various excipients used in tablet manufacturing. We have different kind of excipients used in tablet. For example, we use diluents, then we use binders, then we have to use disintegrant to break down the tablet, then we use glidant, anti-adherent, lubricants and coloring and flavoring agents okay so let's see it one by one what are the pillars so let's see what are the various excipients their role and examples okay first one is fillers it is also known as diluents they are also known as fillers or diluents and what is the their role in the formulation they are used to increase the bulkness of product they are used to increase the bulkness of product for example if you are if you, if you are going to formulate a tablet of 500 mg mg paracetamol then we have to increase the bulkness of the that uh, formulation so we will use lactose then other diluents to increase the bulkness of that tablet up to the 1 gram okay so so that it will be conveniently administered okay so fillers or diluents are used to increase the bulkness of the product what are the example lactose are there various different kind of lactose are available lactose usp anhydrous lactose then spray dried lactose directly compressible starches are also used as a diluents then hydrolyzed hydrolyzed starches micro crystalline cellulose then dibasic calcium phosphate dcb isko bolte hain then mannitol sorbitol calcium phosphate mannitol and sorbitol sorbitol is mostly used in liquid orals as a diluent okay then calcium sulfate then calcium sulfate diiodide then then dextrose okay millard reaction is associated with hydrous lactose when hydrous lactose is used as a diluent in tablet manufacturing with amine containing drug it will leads to browning of tablet because of that reaction with hydrous lactose and mannitol they will react each other to form a brown colored peptide conh bond so they will form a brown color on the tablet that is known as millard reaction okay remember this and the product from formed in millard reaction is peptide okay so next next expand is binder okay so what are the binders what is the use of binder so binders are also known as binding agent okay they are mostly used in granulation of tablet manufacturing or they are also used in dry granulation okay they will they will they will act as a adhesive they will act as adhesive compound they will keep the powder in binding form so what are the examples acacia is there cellulose is there acacia cellulose derivative various types of cellulose microcrystalline cellulose then ethyl cellulose methyl cellulose etc etc then your gelatin is there glucose is there pvp polyvinyl pyrrolidone okay then pre gelatinized starch sodium alginate sorbitol and Trigon. these are the examples of binder or binding agent so next disintegrant or disintegrating agent okay disintegrant or disintegrating agent it is used to break down the tablet they are used to break down the tablet so disintegrants are used to break down the tablet aisa nahi hona chahiye ki aapne tablet banaya tablet khaya aur pet mein jaane ke baad usko tablet break hi nahi hua wo so to break down the tablet we have to use disintegrant what are the different disintegrants examples are there starch starch is there then cellulose is there then your alginates are there polyvinyl pyrrolidone is there cross linked caramelose or that is also known as cross caramelose okay these are the examples of disintegrant there are they will act as a in different mechanism some disintegrant will swell upon contact with water for example starch starch will swell when it will contact with come in contact with water and release the active ingredient in the stomach so these are the disintegrants the next one is glidants what are the glidants why what is the role of glidants in glidants in tablet so glidant glidants are used to improve the flow of granules from hopper to the dye cavity देखो अपने को जब टैबलेट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग करना होता है तो जो ग्रैनुल्स रखा होता है टैबलेट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग मशीन के हॉपर में सो देख ग्रैनुल्स वो वहां से डाई कैविटी में आएगा 
तो टू इम्प्रूव द फ्लो ऑफ दर ग्रेनुल्स वी हैव टू यू एड क्लाइडेंट्स वट आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ क्लाइडेंट्स दे आर सिलिका डेरेवेटिव लाइक कोलाइडल सिलिकॉन डाइऑक्साइड देन यू कैन यूज एज अ टाल्क एज अ क्लाइडेंट देन यू कैन यूज कॉर्न स्टार्च एज अ क्लाइडेंट सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ग्लाइड देन टाल्क एंड देन कॉर्न स्टार्च ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन इज एंटी एडियरेंट वट आर द एंटी एडियरेंट सो एंटी एडियरेंट आर यूज टू प्रिवेंट द एडियरेंस ऑफ पाउडर पार्टिकल मैग्नेशियम स्टीरेट सो इन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्टीरेट आर यूज then starch is also will act as anti adherent then talc okay next point is lubricants what are the different lubricants and what is the role of lubricant in tablet manufacturing so lubricants are used to reduce the friction of machine and its components lubricants are used to reduce the friction of machine and its component for example stearic acid derivative then polyethylene glycol then talc various starch factors are used then waxes so dekho yahan pe aapko ye samajhna chahiye ki lubricants aur glidants mein kya difference hai so glidant is used to improve the flow of granules and lubricants are used to reduce the friction of different parts of tablet machine components components of tablet machine example lubricants are used to reduce the friction between punches and dies okay then next one is coloring and flavoring agent so dekho tablet mein coloring agent coloring and flavoring agent kyu add karte why there is need of coloring and flavoring agent in tablet ye aisa hota hai ki agar for example maan lo aapko black color ki tablet khane ko di to aapko kaisa lagega so you will you will hate it simply you will hate the black tablet so that's why the palatability and elegance is important in case of tablet also agar aapko koi pink color ki tablet hai to wo khane mein bhi achhi lagegi aapko so coloring agent and flavoring agent are used flavoring agar agar koi tablet mein mint mint ka flavor hai for example aap khate ho na wo mint flavor tablet mint ki goli wo khane mein thodi si achhi lagti hai ek cool sensation bhi aata hai so that's why coloring and flavoring agent are used to increase the patient compliance that is known as patient compliance that is used for to increase the patient compliance and palatability okay various type of food drug and cosmetic dyes and lakes are used okay artificial sweeteners are also used like aspartamate then your uh, saccharin is there sodium saccharin is there they are used as a uh, sweeteners and uh, mint is there then strawberry various type of mint strawberry these are the flavors used in tablet manufacturing okay so hope you understand these terms fillers binders disintegrants then glidants anti adherents lubricants and coloring and flavoring agent this will end today's session so this is sachin zada winding up if you are liking the content of our tutorial then please like the video share with your friends and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming videos if you want this kind of notes you can join our paid group you can contact me on these numbers okay you can contact me on these numbers so thank you for watching the video thank you again bye bye